Okay, folks, what I got for you today is a rebuild of one of my first texts that I ever designed in this game. Okay, and basically what I did is I gutted the old tech completely down to its base components. And then I armed it up, put some of these fans that uh, maybe some of you know me for. I like putting fans on the sides of my uh, techs. It just makes them go faster. But in any case, this is kind of, um, I'm trying to be a lot more compact with my designs. And this is what I came up with. You might be able to see kind of the original through all these bricks here. Because that's what's going down the center. And I just started adding weapons and uh, shielding, uh, shielding or at least armor in a lot of these uh, Hawkeye bricks here. And try to put as much missiles on as I could. And on the front end, I kind of call this a shredder because this is mostly designed to try to take out techs at a close range rather than a distance. And, and that's one of the downfalls, I think, of this overall design. Is that using these large wheels, I don't have anything under here that can really anchor. And I don't really have anything that can deal with uh, resources when they're kind of at an odd angle. But when it's on flat ground like this, yeah, this sh shredder front end, it has no trouble dealing with any techs you come across. Or most of the resources that you're going to have to go. It goes up and down uh, these hills. goes up and down them without any fuss. So, this uh, first little run, if you've seen my other videos, usually what I do is I run down this side, uh, Death Alley, I don't know what it's technically called, but all these targets down this little lane here, I take care of those, come around, try to hit these, see how long it takes, and then finish off with uh, hitting the Terra Tech in the rear here, okay? Holy cow, that's probably the fastest I've ever been able to do that. And with boost fully on, looks like top speed is about 102. So that's pretty good for size of tech that this is. Should have put enough tanks on here to make it back to the other side. here all right last target Um, if you have any questions about the design, just hit me up online. Love to talk about this. Uh, one thing I do want to mention uh, at the tail end here is these aren't really for traction or anything like that. 
is that when you see me go over a ramp and it's of um, say maybe 45 or 90 de uh, 90 ish degree is angles usually what happens is this or these tracks can catch it um, and absorb the impact and they're a lot better than some of the other tracks in game at taking damage so usually before any of this rare section comes crashing down I added these and this has been absorbing a lot of the impact from uh, those ramps I'll try to brief demonstration here if I can see how that kind of floats through the air yeah all right folks thanks for watching